Hey everyone, my name is Mason Barnes and today I'll be showing you how to tie a tie in a single Windsor and double Windsor knot. And so the first step is to take your tie and get the fat side on your left. And then you need to worry about the length next. And that, a good trick for that is getting this wide side and putting your hand straight down. And if you've got like about, tighten it up a little bit more, you want about three inches from the tip of your finger towards the bottom of the tie to get your length right. And then from there, your first step for a single Windsor will be to take the fat side and go over your smaller side and pinch the, pinch, excuse me, pinch the uh, two sides together. Your next step will be to take the fat part, come under and pull through the triangle you have right here. And then after that, you'll pinch again on top of what you just tied, take the fat piece, go under both, um, both sides, come around, pull this, stick one finger like this to keep the, um, to keep some space in between this first, um, like little overlay that you've done and the actual knot. Then you're gonna take this piece again, come through underneath both sides again, and then come through the space that you were holding open with your finger. And from then, from there, you can just pull and get your knot tight. And then from there, you can take the skinny piece that is sticking out of the bottom, grab the knot, pull it up and adjust until it's tight. And then from here, you can stick this small piece into the loop on the back. That way it will not be, you know, flying out right here or this way or anything like that. You just turn it, slide it through this loop. And then that is your single Windsor. And to take this off, you'll just grab the loop, grab the right side, which is the skinny piece, pull, until it's out and then pull this to release the knot. And that's a good thing about both of these knots is that they're self-releasing, which means when you're done for the day, you can just pull that out and then pull the fat side and the knot's gone. You don't have to worry about untying it. And then secondly, for the double Windsor, same thing, you'll start right here, get your length right. You're gonna take the pieces, cross them over. And this one, since there is more, uh, more length of the tie in the knot, you're going to want to give yourself a little bit extra space than those basic three inches. Come across, first, um, first thing you'll do is once you come across and pinch the two sides together, is you'll take this, the fat side, come under like you did for the single Windsor, pull it tight, and then you go under your small piece and then come through and you'll go through the top this time instead of through the bottom and then if it looks um if everything looks right so far you'll have something that looks like this it'll be you know the start of your symmetrical double windsor this is uh the knot that's going to hold it all together and then from there same as before you're just going to take this come across while leaving a finger in the hole to leave space to come back through. Pull through here, keeping space with this finger. Come through the bottom of the two pieces. And then again, through the space that you were leaving open with that one finger. And then from here, you can just adjust it, even it out, tuck any stray pieces into the cover that you just created. And then same as before, you can just grab the knot Pull the small side and to tighten it up and then same as before just to tuck any extra of the long string into that hole that goes across the back and that is how you tie a double and single win single windsor um and just another thing another tip trick to look out for when you are excuse me sorry Another tip, 
trick thing to look out for when you're tying it is to make sure you do have this length right because if you don't you leave yourself too much space you come through try and tie it you don't get your length right when you go through tying it you can be left with something that looks like this where you go to tighten it and you've got yourself a little spongebob tie so always make sure to check out um check out and make sure that you've got the right length you've got your wide side on your left skinnier side on the right fat side over the small then the steps for whichever knot you prefer on that uh, particular day. And thank you. That's how you tie a tie.